Hello, hi, hi, this is GG Your Face, and I will be talking about a game between Hydra and Kiwikaki. Hydra is playing as the Red Zerg at the upper right hand corner, and Kiwikaki is playing as the Blue Protoss at the lower left hand corner. This map is awesome, and this series of games is also awesome. I'm going to be uploading a lot of games in the next couple of hours, I think, because there's simply so many good games. I've watched all of these replays at least once, and man, oh man, this is one of the better tournaments I've ever seen. A lot of really top shaped players playing their absolute best and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. If you have any comments, suggestions, or players you want to see, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think and right off the bat, Kimikage is going to put a pylon in front of his choke at the top of his choke and Hydra. Let's see what Hydra is going to do, whether he's going to put the spawning pool or the hatch. There's a lot of pros and cons of both and I'm sure Hydra is well aware of them. Let's see what he chooses to do. Oh yeah, so as I was saying, if you guys have any suggestions on players you want to see, action, or games you want to see, let me know I will definitely put it up there I really love doing this guys so um, no problem at all just send me a message or leave a comment in the YouTube thingy and just let me know how you feel and there's a probe to the side I think he's waiting for a drone that's gonna come and maybe put down a spawning I mean a hatchery soon Hydra is on 14 at the moment and a gateway has recently gone up for Kiwi Kaki and Hydra has one overlord over here going to his Onaga Watchtower and another one going to his natural expansion and the drone is coming and this probe is getting ready to dance with this drone. The drone's trying to put down hatchery but he won't be able to because there is a probe there immediately. He puts down a spawning pool instead instead of wasting time and waiting. Because a lot of Protoss players, what they can do is they can put down a pylon and prevent you from getting that entirely for the next couple of seconds at least. And Kiwikagi will scout inside the base to see if he has gotten a spawning pool or extractor or stuff like that. And this probe will come in to see exactly what he needs to see. And the spawning pool is about 50% done. And the pylon does go up outside the base. It's only about 135. Shield up 125. Now there is a drone working on it. Hardcore. <laughs> and there's a gateway, and I think we should be seeing a cybercore. Cybercore is going down. Kiwikagi does like to wall off a little bit differently. A lot of players like to put it over here, as well as the gaps in the middle, but Kiwikagi likes to put the gap on the side. And this probe is watching that drone hit the pylon. Kiwikagi wants to try to catch Hydra off guard, and those two are fighting out, and Hydra will be stealing Kiwikaki's gas, it looks like, and both these <laughs> are on very low HP. One or two more hits for both, so Kiwikaki was able to keep his pylon up a little bit. Again, every second helps, and he was able to hold off that drone for a bit, and some Zerglings are coming. A Zealot is being produced by Kiwikaki, and a robotics facility has gone down. He skipped the stalker entirely and right now Hydra will be putting down that hatchery a little bit delayed by Kiwikaki well played I think the queen is out and a couple of zerglings are running across the map and Kiwikaki will be putting two pylons near and he only has one zealot cyber core for the warp gate is not being chrono boosted he has 75 chrono boosted probably saving for immortals or a quick tech to colossus we will see what he has in his sleeve in a bit a couple of zerglings running up to the top let's see if these zealot is in whole position and it is very very well done there by kiwikagi and there's only one pylon powering ver three very important structures a little bit suspicious and there is one probe holding these on like a watchtower for kiwikagi so he actually sees a lot of the troop movements by Hydra and there's this one probe. <laughs> there's this one probe on the side working on the extractor. And Kimikaki is putting down a pylon as well. And Hydra is getting that metabolic boost for his Zerglings, a very, very good upgrade as that will allow him to go faster. And this probe is trying to hit those Zerglings with his laser, but it does not reach the range, it's not far enough. And one Zealot is helping out with the probe to work on this extractor on the side. A bunch of drones being transferred and Warp Gate. Ooh, we see the first, the second Immortal being Chrono Boosted. All the Chrono Boost is being spent on Immortals, it looks like. And another Chrono Boost on an Immortal, and this. He's not going to get the gas at all, it looks like. He's going to skip it. Bunch of Zerglings running around the map checking for any proxy pylons because he's suspicious. It's too quiet right now. It's almost an awkward quiet. There's absolutely no action. Kiwikaki running away with that probe. Let's see if that probe will go down. There's a couple of gateways being opened by Kiwikaki. That probe is still alive. These Zerglings running around the map still looking for proxy pylons and proxy buildings. And I think 
Idra has got to be suspicious at this moment. He does have an overlord over here. He does, let's see if he does catch a glimpse of it. No, he sees the building is being chrono boosted, but he doesn't see what it's chrono boosting. And he's chrono, the final chrono boosts are being spent on the war prism. And I think Idra will be able to catch a glimpse if he just simply moves his units in. Ooh, Idra does move it, and the last second he catches Kiwikaki moving with the War Prism, so he knows this is coming, and immediately we see Idra producing a ton of Zerglings to try to hold this off, and Extractor has gone up, he has a Roach Warrant, yes, and he's also getting a Hydralis Den, I'm not sure if the Hydralis Den is going to make it in time, this War Prism is flying awfully fast, <laughs> and every second that passed by is the second he doesn't have, he also puts down a Creep Tumor to the side, expecting to drop inside his base with a lot of Zerglings, if we take a look at the unit mix, there is two Immortals and a War Prism, versus 22 Zerglings, and the Immortals are going to be dropping, the Zealots actually drop first, to take some hits, and one Immortal does get surrounded, it will go down, the second Immortal spawning perfectly behind the Zealots, and that will prevent him from going down, the Queen is trying to kill off the War Prism, because the War Prism will be able to warp in additional reinforcements, and it looks like he will be able to, I think the Chrono Boosts are being spammed on the Warp Gate at the moment, and there's a huge battle going on inside the base of Hydra, and I think he's warping in four more Zealots, very very nice there, he's gotta keep this Immortal alive because it does a lot of damage to buildings and he's desperately trying to take down this Roach Warm because if he only has Zealots versus Zerglings he should be okay and there's no way for the Zergler to take down this War Prism because he has no anti-air a couple of Hydralis, Hydralis are not being spawned at the moment a lot of Zerglings are being morphed in to try to deal with this a lot more Ze Zealots have been teleported in he's gonna work on this Roach Warm I think the Roach Warm is gonna go down the Zealots are working fighting a lot of micro going on and the Roach Warm is gonna go down the Roach Warm went down and the War Prism moves even closer to the battle to warp in reinforcements much quicker <laughs> this is awesome and Kibikage is pushing forward pressing his advantage he's gonna try to kill off this queen if he could the queen is very low on HP the drones are getting pulled off the line additional zealots coming in and this is a huge battle this immortal is getting taken down by the drones very very slowly and a couple of zealots come over and I think this might be it. Idra has gotten overwhelmed. He did scout it a couple of seconds late. He knew it was coming, but I think it was a little bit too late. Had he moved that Overlord just slightly to the right a couple of seconds earlier, he would have been able to hold this off because Kiwikaki did not even have one Stalker. Just mass Zealot and Immortal with a very, very nicely saved Chrono Boost. I think it was like 75 or 100 Chrono Boost saved. That's five or seven consecutive Chrono Boost that help him pump it out extra early. Idra does GG. What an awesome game. Hope you guys enjoy that. Game number two coming your way. This is GG Your Face. If you like me, see, please subscribe and also comment. And see you at the next game.